What's up, YouTube? All right, just real quick, and I'm going to cut it because I'm doing different clips of this video. So I was watching this movie last night called The Abyss. No, it's not the old one. This is the one that just came out. And every single thing that they were talking about in the movie either happened or is going to happen. Okay? The guy said something about a bus being in a sinkhole, which that was the one that happened in Pittsburgh. They had the, he said about the invasion of, the little girl said about the invasion of bugs, the lantern flies. They were talking about earthquakes that were happening all over the world. Y'all, if y'all get a chance, go check out the movie. It's called The Abyss. They do, it's English, but their mouths move Swedish. That, it's a Swedish movie, but they're, they, it is English. They do speak English. Um, but it's a very, very, very good movie. So if you guys can, go check it out. Check out my grocery haul whenever I get home tomorrow. or tomorrow. When I get home later, make sure you guys check out my grocery haul. All right, because I'm going to put that in the next segment. All right, you guys. Stay All right, tuned. you guys. So I am in Sam's Club. I am shopping for a lot of things. <sighs> I'm just trying to think of anything else that I need, and I hate filming like this, but I don't have my camera person with me today, so I have to do it myself. But I gotta get out of here, like, quick, because I gotta be at the doctor's at 12. Um, so I gotta kinda get moving, you know? Even though I like to take my time, I hate to be rushed. Y'all, like, don't mind me. I don't know if I want chuck roast. Yeah, maybe I do. Hold on one second, guys. I got the beef chuck roast. Let me get over here and get my steaks. It's a lot of people out here today. So I buy the New York strip steaks only because they're better. Even though I don't like Angus, it's still a lot better than um, I'm trying to think the ribeye steak. Hold on one second. I put my meat in bags, that way it doesn't leak. Seventeen seventy-one. It was originally nineteen something, but they have it on sale, I guess. So I'm okay with that. And I apologize if you guys can't hear me that good. Oh, this is a lot of stuff I gotta get. I fill up my deep freezer, so anytime I, any chance I can get to get to the store, then I do it because then I ain't gotta worry about on days that I can't make it to the store, I ain't gotta worry about it. Um, let me see. I don't know. Let me go over here. I have chicken breast. I don't think I need anything else here. <coughs> freeze by March 10th. Huh? 
count them. They just started putting these on there, these labels on there. It says use or freeze, which I don't know why. But, all right, I'm headed over to my seasonings. Got to get my seasonings, and then I should be pretty much done. Because I don't know if there's anything else that I need. There's like a lot of people here. People be staring at you. They be thinking you're talking to yourself. That's funny. So I have to I have to remember what I need. Um. Ooh. Look at they got all purpose. I think we're gonna get that. Add that to my spices. They got the Mexican barbecue. Mexican barbecue. Y'all, I'm not gonna have any room for anything in my cl in my cabinet. Like literally at all. I gotta find, see if they have the big Italian seasoning. Yes, they do. Okay. All right, let me get these couple things that I need and I will be back on. Real quick, this is the March grocery haul. So I got some drumsticks here. They were $2.50 and I think there's about eight of them in there. So I got three packages of those. Then I got the boneless, skinless chicken breast that I'm going to be making that Mississippi chicken again. I got some bacon, some sausage there. I got some beef and regular hot dogs I got some cheese sticks I got some meatballs there then move it on I got hot Italian sausage and this is what I was talking about guys this is the best steak to buy it's really really thick I usually cut mine in half and then lengthwise and you can get four out of there I paid $29 and you get four of them but I can make these into eight. So I got a package of those. And then I got two roasts. And then I got some wild caught Atlanta, Atlantic cod. Make some breaded fish. Then I got the Tyson buffalo hot wings. I got those. And then I got three packages of ground meat here. Um, underneath here, I got some John Morrell smoked sausage. And then down here, I got some Eckridge smoked sausage. This is the club pack. This is the bigger one. And then I got two boxes of the waffles. This is the Hungry Jack. I haven't had waffles, y'all, in I don't know how long. So this is part one of my grocery haul. I still have to show you what I have in my refrigerator, but this is just in my deep freezer for now. So up here I have the chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese. And also I have the Swedish meatballs. This is just kind of like one of them little quick go meals that if you don't want to cook, you just pop them either in the microwave or whatever and you're good to go. Then I got the chicken pot pies. I got four of those. And then I got the TGI Fridays boneless style chicken wings. Got some pizzas here. Got some more cheese sticks. Got another thing of bacon and sausage up here. Then I got the chicken and cheese taquitos. So that's in the freezer. Then the refrigerator, I got my cheese. Clever idea, huh, guys? Cheese. I got the green apples, parsley, and ginger because I am making this juice drink. And I got my juicer coming tomorrow. So I'm going to be making that. I got some grapes. And I did buy some more apple cider vinegar with Mother. You have to get, if you want to do the weight loss thing, you have to make sure it says with mother or with the mother. I don't know why. Oh, well, I can't just say with the dad. But anyway, so I got the shredded cheese. I got some 
cucumbers. Got some lemons in here. And then I got the hot dog buns and hamburger buns. And down here, yes, y'all, I did not eat these things, but I bought them anyway in case anybody wanted them. <laughs> All right, you guys, let me move on to my season. All right, you guys, so I had to get my Kinder's Ancho Chili. Y'all, you have to try this. If you are making chili, I mean, this goes with anything, but if you're making chili and you add this to it, oh, my God, it is so, so good. It says on here, too. I forget what it was. It should. The other one showed pictures, but you can use it for basically anything. It says eggs and all kind of stuff that you can use it for, but definitely try this. And then I just seen these out there, which if you look in earlier in the video, I did show you guys that I got this. It's the Spanglish Asadero uh, Mexican Barbecue. It's made with chipotle, lime, and spices. And then... I got the same brand, but I got the all-purpose. This is made with sea salt, garlic, chili, and citrus. I'm anxious to try that. That might be good. I don't, maybe with my the fish and something I make. I don't know. And then I got the crushed red pepper. I got the real big bottle because when I make my homemade pizzas and stuff, or if I do like my lasagna or something like that, I use this. This is the best. And then I got the case of Coca-Cola. And then on top of that, I went and got some disinfectant spray. I got some Comet kitchen cleaner with bleach because tomorrow, guys, I am going all out in this house. Then I got Spick and Span. This is a multi-purpose cleaner. And then I got my Pine Glow for my floors. All right, so stay tuned for the next video. But yeah, guys, look, can't forget that. Always got to keep your face clean. Dermatologist tested. Oxy deep pore cleansing pads. All right, you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications.